Potterheads. I am back after, was it the 6th of October? Was that my last video? <gasps> I've been ill, then I was obviously taken time because I was having so much work, it was so nuts. And then Monica came down, so I wanted to focus on her. So today I am off still, but I am doing the video for you. And my God, have we got an exciting one. I've been hearing about this for me. But uh, the very, 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 very lovely people at Calica have sent me the new Harry Potter advent calendar trunk. <gasps> How freaking cool is this? A trunk with stuff in it. All right, like it just looks so beautiful and so reusable. That is so lush. The carrot shop to, re to produce this amazing item where you can use it after Christmas. You can freaking use it as a jewelry box or whatever you want to use it. So as you can see, I haven't opened it yet. That is for me to do now, now that I have my knife fairs. And also this is the first video that I am doing after reaching 70,000 subscribers. <laughs> 70,000! Oh my god! If you'd have told me at the beginning of this year that I would have reached 70,000 from 19,000 to 70,000 by the beginning of October, I would not have believed any of you. So this is insane. I'm just off, I think I'm like 50 subscribers off 71,000. So it's growing so quickly. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all you new subscribers and you current subscribers who've been following me for years. I can't thank you guys enough. This is amazing. And in celebration, I also did a recent photo shoot, which my Patreons have seen some pictures of, but the, um, the rest of you will have to wait till I hit a certain point on my subscriber count but I did the photo shoot with the previous um, photographers that I worked with before, Boca Photography. Oh my God, they are incredible geniuses and I absolutely love them. I received them at like half past 10 last night and I literally spent like two hours just going through them and completely blown away by the amazing magic they can create with the camera and editing. I am so grateful to you guys. So let's open this calendar. I have literally, oh my god, my last video was uh, based on the Noble Collection items from Wicked. I have now got Wicked shells, so if you want to see those, have a look at my TikTok. I will put the link down below. And also an update on eBay. All the items have now been shipped, and I will be adding more items to eBay very, very soon. So this is, oh my god, look at the quality of this. <gasps> this is so lush. So here is the calendar. Okay, let's take the plastic off, the plastic, the cardboard. Oh, oh, oh. No freaking way, that is stunning. That looks so expensive, regardless of what's inside it. This actually looks incredibly well done. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my God. That is absolutely stunning. And the look of it is very kind of rustic and old, like really aged. And this is not like, you know, a cardboard thing that you just pull up like that. It, it genuinely is. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. And it's got locks on it. I wonder if there's keys inside. <gasps> we could lock it, keep our most valuable Potterhead items inside the box. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, wow. So we've got a, car a cardboard. It's all wood. This is not cardboard. This is wood. So that is gorgeous. Look at that. And the str straight away, we have the number one item to take out. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see everything. Because you know me, I'm blind as a bat. And for anyone who wants to know where this jumper is from, this was one of the jumpers that was released from the Harry Potter Studios last year. It's a Christmas jumper with Hagrid on the front of it. Very pretty. I wasn't going to buy it, but then all this is like actual stitching. So it's really, really pretty. Very, very, very well done. So I did end up getting it. So let's have a look. So we've got the first item. As you take it off, look at that so 
now I haven't looked at any videos I haven't looked at any pictures there is a picture of some of the items from the calendar on the side of that cardboard but I haven't looked at it because I don't want to have anything spoilt for me so we are going to open number one first is this like postcards or something I don't like ripping stuff okay so we have something so it's the Harry, ha, to ha, Mr. Hat H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs, for Privet Drive, Little Whinging, Surrey. What's inside here? Oh my god, is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> that scared the life! <laughs> that scared the life out of me! Oh my god, that is so gorgeous! It actually was holding it in place. That is insane. We are pleased to inform you. <laughs> My heart's going nuts. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Professor Minerva McGonagall. And there's a little envelope here. So I'm very carefully taking it off. That was so funny. Oh my God, my heart was going nuts then. Oh, it is keys. We actually have physical keys to lock this trunk as well so it looks like there are two in here we have two keys that's brilliant news how cool is that i know it's just so amazing the potion but the potion cabinet one we had last year was absolutely stunning but i would have i would have preferred it to be wood rather than cardboard oh my god my heart is going nuts after that that was hilarious but that is very 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 nice so i'm going to pop that down and we're going to get into number two so kellick has said dear victoria please find enclosed our 2024 trunk box advent calendar we hope you enjoy unboxing from team calica oh my god i am already and i'm only on number one i've got a heart attack yeah i'm having a heart attack but i'm okay <laughs> I'm excited to get into the rest. Right, so let's have a look. Where's number two? Number two is a golden snitch. The golden snitch. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh my God, I'm so hot. Okay, so, oh, this looks cute. It's a Christmas decoration. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, so there we have a golden snitch Christmas decoration that is very very pretty i tell you my christmas tree because you know i've got a really thin christmas tree right because obviously i have to put make sure that i can get the tree in here um it'll go there it will i've got a really thin christmas tree right um and i'm actually running out of branches to put christmas decorations because i have so many some of them have been handmade some of them have been bought some of them have been sent to me so i absolutely think i need to re i need to invest in a new christmas tree this year if not this year, then definitely next year. So we have an incredibly light box for number three. I've got to be honest, every year seems to be improving with advent calendars, like different companies doing different advent calendars, like Insight Edition started doing really amazing ones last year. They are really improving every year. Even Warner Brothers Studios released some advent calendars this year that were actually really pretty. I missed out on the trunk one, however, I didn't actually like, it was, only, it was only £40, I didn't actually like that there was nothing in it. I prefer the look of this one. This one looks more authentic. So I am really glad that I've got this one. And I thank you so much to Calica for sending it to me as well. So what's in here? We have, oh my God! <laughs> look at that little Christmas decoration! Oh my God, that is like the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is so adorable. Oh, that is so cute. That is like the tiniest little thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's so cute. I was not expecting that at all. That is absolutely adorable. So number four is showing us Bertie Bot's Every for Liver Beans. It's a button badge. I'm not fussed on button badges, but I'm still gonna show you what it is. Okay. So it's Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. I like that, but again, you know I'm not a fan of button badges. So that's probably the only, the first negative thing I'm not fussed on. 
So let's go on to door number five. Oh, we got a long one. We got a long box. It could be a pen. I've not been a fan of their pens because their pens haven't been brilliant of late. However, even though it looks like a pen, it is a pen, but it is a wand. It is a Harry Potter wand pen. So we have a wand pen. This might have to find its way into my pencil case for work. Maybe we will have to see. Number six is this Marauder's Map box. It's very light and squishy. Oh, is it scrunchy? Oh, it's a Marauder's Map scrunchy. Oh my God, I've, I love scrunchies. I absolutely love scrunchies. I use scrunchies every day and satin scrunchies are very, very good for your hair. Look at my mouth. Hello. Hello, Jackie. You look nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there we are so we have a marauders map scrunchie i really love that i literally the only hair bands i tend to use now are scrunchies satin scrunchies are even better number seven is a tiny tiny little box we have a little little tiny box for number seven a little a little chocolate frog box a box what is in here we have a little packet oh Oh, trying to open it this way without losing anything or trying to lose anything. We have a pair of earrings. Oh, okay. I think I know what these are. Oh, now they are gorgeous. Oh my God. Okay, let me see if I can do this so you can see them. They are very, very, very nice. So you've got a little chocolate frog and a little chocolate frog box. They are absolutely stunning. I really, really like those. They are definitely going to be worn by me. They are stunning. The detail is so tiny, but the detail on that chocolate frog box is brilliant. Very well done. So this um, calendar also, in also includes exclusive items that won't be available to buy separately. So that could very well be, a, be, be something that is exclusive. We're on to number eight, which is, looks like Gryffindor robes. So this is like a hairband. It is a hairband. And it is a hairband with the Hogwarts castle on. That's quite nice. I like the charm more than the hairband myself. That's very cute. I like the fact that it's silver and black. That's really nice. Yeah, I do like that. I if if you didn't like the hairband, you could always cut the hairband to have it as a charm, I think maybe. So, number 9 is this Hogwarts Express ticket and it looks like a bracelet. It is a bracelet. So we have a little Hogwarts uh, pl platform nine and three quarters charm on a little rope bracelet there these have been quite popular i've seen quite a lot of people wearing these even though i'm not a fan of them myself i have seen oh hang on that's just come off i have seen a lot of people wearing these oh i'm never gonna get that back on again i have to pop that in there yeah the, the little silver bead just came off the end there um but that is very adorable but not my cup of tea not something I personally would wear myself. So now we're on number 10 and it's advanced potion making box. That's quite promising, isn't it? What's in here? Oh, we have, oh, I like that. It is a button badge, but it's a button badge with a difference. That is very, very nice. It's very different. It's not your simple average kind of run of the mill round button badge but it is a book shape button badge, but it's advanced potion making. Now that is actually very nice. I didn't think I could like a button badge, but that's very, very, very lovely. I'd have that as a pin as well, actually. It's quite funky. Right, okay, we'll pop that in there. I do like the diversity of this calendar so far. Obviously, as I said, there's a couple of things that I don't like myself, but that's my personal opinion. Obviously, you guys might like it. Um, but then a couple of things that obviously I would 
possibly change but it's a very diverse amount of items it's not set on one thing so I really like that about it and we're only going on to chapter uh, chapter you're only going on to box 11 now oh we've got a time turner on the front of this one I wonder what's inside of this box let's have a look it looks like another bracelet and it is it's got a little time turner oh that's quite pretty I'd cut that off and have that as a charm, I would actually. Not something you should say really, but um, I do like the fact that the charm is very, very dainty and cute. But these, as I said, these bracelets, I have been seeing more and more people wear them nowadays. So that is very, very cute indeed. It's very small. I quite like the daintiness of it. That's very, very cute. As I said, I wouldn't wear them, but those sort of bracelets are meant to be worn like all the time, you know, just like gent gentle kind of bracelets. The last one of the top row now, and we're on to number 12, which is a Felix Felicis bottle. So let's have a look. Oh, we have a Felix Felicis pin. I think I've already got one of these pins. Oh, oop, 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 oop. So there we are, we got a Felix Felicis pin. But yes, I do have one of these. They are very cute. In fact, I think I've already got it on my shelf. Although that does look very, very slightly different. The wording and the kind of the marks around the Felix Felicis looks very, very different. I say very, very different, but I'm actually thinking slightly different, Victoria. Not very, very different. That is very cute. I like that. Oh, Skelly Grove. We're on to 13 now. Okay, so we're on to 13 and it is a bottle of Skelly Grove. As you remember, if you don't remember, check out the link above. They did release a Skelly Grove uh, jewellery collection of necklaces. Was there earrings? I think there were earrings. There was uh, keychains and things like that. So um, it was a very nice set, but sadly the keychain after one day did break with me. So I was a bit upset about that. So we've got a, it feels quite heavy. And I must admit, the Skelly Grow bottles that they had were solid metal. They were really amazing. Oh, it's the necklace. I have this necklace, but I'm not complaining about having another one because these are absolutely gorgeous. I was actually gonna wear it for this video, but I wore my Time Turner jewelry instead from the carrot shop. That is actually very, very lovely, isn't it? But I do have one. It's actually sat on my dressing table looking at me getting ready. I really, really love it, but I was gutted when the keychain broke. But that is really nice. And the fact that there is some weight to these as well. But if you guys didn't know that they did them, then now you do. They're really, really lovely. Again, such a diverse amount of items. Like not anything, like not kind of set on anything specific do you know what I mean it generally is some really lovely diverse items another little dinky box and we've got it looks like a galleons in a little bag there or ministry of magic yeah that looks like galleons or at least coins of some sort so we've got it looks like a necklace okay I'm not seeing the front all I can see is H oh I can see the reflection in that though <gasps> All I can see is the HP on the back, but let's do this before I have a look at this. So we've got, oh, okay, I really like that. That is gorgeous. I really, really like that. The only thing I would change is I would have that as a gold chain rather than um, a leather cord. That is very, very nice. It is, in fact, a galleon, a gold galleon from Gringotts Wizarding Bank. That is beautiful. That is very, very, very nice. I may have to treat myself to a gold necklace. Obviously not real gold. I'm not made of money. Um, a gold necklace, and I would swap that over. But I'm a jewellery designer, so obviously I'm, uh, I'm well aware of what to do and how to do it. So watch this space i may be wearing that in future videos so what number was that that was 14 so we're on number 15 now which is a long it looks like a broom hang on oh my god 24 it's just i've just seen what 24 obviously not the item inside but the box oh i really hope it's something to do with that would be so cool so we have a box with a broom on it and let's open it it's very clunky clunky what is it 
Oh, okay, I'm not fussed on these pens. These pens are used quite a lot, but they are very, very cute. I've never actually written with one. It doesn't actually feel that bad. I haven't written with one, so I may have to take it to work and give it a go just to kind of, oh, let's have a look, see what it's like on the back of this. Ooh, that is smooth. Oh my God, that's really smooth. That's a very, a very smooth. Okay, this is definitely coming to work with me. That is a very, very nice feeling pen. I love, there's nothing better to me personally than the feeling of pen to paper when you've got a nice pen. You know, I had those really expensive pens sent to me. Was it last year? I can't even remember the name of the company. It begins with M. They're in there, they are. They're really, they're like £450 each, these pens. I took one to work just to see how, as in like the, the ballpoint one I took to work because I wanted to use it. Do you know, they're not nice to write with at all. It's actually quite, not blotchy, but it feels quite rough. That, what's that? Maybe a couple of pound? That feels so nice to write with. I am gonna thoroughly enjoy using that. I am definitely taking that to work. And that's my honest opinion now, especially with those, those pens were so beautiful. And I was so honored to be sent two, let alone one. I got the Harry Potter found, a uh, uh, Hogwarts Express fountain pen and the Harry Potter Ravenclaw ballpoint pen sent to me and they, were so beautiful to look at they're still in the packaging and everything but I used the ballpoint one in work just because I wanted to kind of just wanted a bit of class you know while I was in work in a really nice hotel and um and it was actually quite a disappointing day with the the way the pen wrote it was really like that's not what I expected at all and I'm not good with fountain pens so I haven't used the fountain pen but they are still very much a part of my collection and I've got them in one of my trunks that I keep a lot of my special stuff in and I can hear you guys screaming at me through the through the camera asking me to show you what's in the trunk maybe one day I will but at the minute no <laughs> just because I don't, I just, I don't know how, when I'd fit it in. I'm just so busy right now. So, but I like the idea of showing you. I've also been asked as well. So I may do this around Halloween to show you a close by Borgen and Burke's cabinet. I do actually have something special that won't be going with my Borgen and Burke's cabinet, but does go with my Borgen and Burke's cabinet, if that makes sense. So it won't go in it, but it does, it's meant to go with it. So I will probably do a video around Halloween of my Borg and Books cabinet, trying to fit in a video of Halloween as well. So where was I? I'm procrastinating. What was I on? 15. So I'm on 16 now, aren't I? There we are. So we got 16. Tiny, tiny, tiny box. And on the box, it shows a pair of Harry Potter glasses. So it is a bracelet, but it's a band. I think these are meant to be hair bands, aren't they? But I wouldn't wear that as a hair band. So I'm not fussed on that myself, but I know some of you might be, but that's not my cup of tea. That's not something I'd, I think it's for your hair. I wouldn't put that in my hair, just because my hair is very, even though I've got a lot of it, it's very, very fine. So I've got to be very careful what I put in my hair. As you guys know, I love my hair. So, you know, it is my queen, my queen. I love my queen. Uh, right, okay, so where were we? Right, let's have a look. So that was 16, so we're on 17 now. It's Hedwig, the beautiful Hedwig as she is. In the botanical gardens, because I, I, I went there recently um, to have a meeting with them. Um, I got to play with uh, James 007 Bond, um, who is a was a 13-week-old snowy owl. And my God, the cutest thing ever. He was huge, just like this, and he was only 13 weeks old. But as um, uh, Alex's wife told me, they, they like to be on the ground, snowy owls. They, they're very much ground birds. And so... When we were kind of um, introducing, like I was introducing myself to, to James Bond, and um, he decided he was going to fly off and chase leaves that were on the ground. <laughs> I missed it. I was gutted. I disappeared to do something else. And uh, Alex said to me, he found him at the green, the grass bit, um, in the walled garden, literally chasing leaves around the grass. I was like, oh my God, that is just the cutest thing ever. I literally want an owl. But um, Alex and, and my best mate, Jess, we all went to school together. Alex actually told Jess do not let Vix have a because they call me Vix um Vix uh, an owl because they are 
you've got to be really careful with owls they have to be looked after properly even though i would they, they're quite dangerous if they're not brought up correctly so you've got to be really careful so 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 then i was i was given an owl to um to sponsor because um it was either that or i couldn't have a wand totally <laughs> at all so now i get to go there and play with them instead so it's fine um but oh my god i've never seen a falconry who looks after their birds so well they are literally treated so brilliantly and they have so much freedom but they're still very much trained as well they are treated so brilliantly i just I, I love going there because they look so happy these birds they generally look so happy and they have so much space it's unbelievable and they get to fly every day as well and they are literally they literally just they just go and i will literally have a message saying we've, we've lost blah 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 again he's in the tree somewhere or she's in the trees somewhere we'll find them tomorrow or whatever do you know what i mean that it's that sort of loving caring wonderful relationship so i do love it i love the fact that i'm associated with it so i'm so happy about it um so 17 18 now 18 oh we've got what looks like a stack of books on this one so we have a stack of books okay so what's in this one? Oh, i can see a hairpin Oh, Aloha Mora. So this is an item that's been in uh, one of their boxes before. However, you might not have had that calendar. So we have had Aloha Mora in a box before. And we've also, as far as I'm aware, we've had Aloha Mora in a Boots advent calendar as well. So I do have a few of these. So let's pop that back in its box. I'm running out of space on my table. Then we are on 19. I'm so excited to open that last box. So 19 is a Gryffindor scarf. Okay. Oh, we have a bit of fluff. Oh my God. It's another little decoration. Oh, that is so adorable. Oh my God. How cute is that with a little charm on it? Oh my God. That is so cute. That is absolutely adorable. I'm loving these little decorations because they're so different to what we would have had before. I really love that. Harry's jumper completely tickled me. So now we're up to number 20 and it says Potter 07. Obviously that's um, in reference to his Quidditch number. And we have another button, button badge, but it is Seeker Quidditch World Cup Speed is key so again not fussed on button badges but i like the idea so we've got that button badge so we're on 21 now 21 is a large box is this another pen i was giving those pens a hard time but now i know what they're like to write with i'm not giving them a hard time anymore no it's a bookmark oh and it's a little hedwig we got a little hedwig bookmark that is so cute i like that i because i'm reading more books now as well i need more bookmarks so yes that is so adorable that will be going in my book my new book so there we are so there's that one and then we're on 22 which is uh exploding bonbons weasley wizard wheeze candy is it weasley wizard wheeze or is it honey jukes no it's honey jukes isn't it we have Honey Dukes lanyard. So we have a Honey Dukes lanyard. I don't use them for my job, but I really like that lanyard. That might be a good thing to give Monica for Christmas, actually, because she uses a lanyard for work. Because obviously she's working on films, she does use lanyards, obviously with all her security stuff. So I might give that to Monica for Christmas. Might. We'll see. But yes, maybe. I'm getting rushed now because I want to hurry up and get into the last box. So I really want to know what the last box is. So last but one, it's the Daily Prophet with the Minister for Magic on there, Cornelius Fudge. Oh, it's another button badge, but it's a shaped one. Oh, I'm not sure if I like about that. I like that one. It's Sirius Black, but it's only half a picture. So yeah. I'm not sure I like that one. Okay, so it would have been nicer with like, I don't know, the um, Daily daily Profit or something on it. So the last item, okay, is a Monster Book of Monsters box. So let's have a look. 
So this is the last one. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I really like it. It's a monster book of monsters keychain. <laughs> oh my god, that is brilliant. Okay, that is wicked. And I love that that's the last item because that is absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> the detail on this keychain is amazing. Okay, that's going on my keys. That's going on my keys now. I absolutely love that. Monster Book of Monsters. That is fan freaking tastic. I absolutely love that so much. Oh my goodness, I love the last box. I like the box. I love the box. That is brilliant. The box is worth keeping on its own. Do you know what I mean? That's fantastic. So that's it. That is the last item in this advent calendar. I love the box. This is a wooden box and you can lock it as well. That is absolutely brilliant. So the fact that this is what, £79 to buy, I actually think that is very reasonable for this because it is an actual wooden trunk that you can lock as well. So it's not cardboard, it's an actual wooden trunk. I just think that's fantastic. I absolutely love this. I would highly recommend this. Um, so anyway, let me know in the comments below what did you think of these items? Some of them were a little bit generic. Very few to be fair though. And only one pen this time. And normally they, I think for the last one, they did pencils and pens, multiple. Um, I'm not fussed on some of the button badges and the hair bands. However, majority of the rest and the, some of the bracelets, but I would have them as charms. But the rest of this box, I think that was very, very good. I mean, that um, I think the Skelly Grow necklace is about 12 to 14 pound to buy. So that on its own is quite an expensive item. I think the, the Monster Book of Monsters keychain is probably about eight, nine pound to buy maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, so the value of it I think is very, very good. And then this, they sell similar ones in the Harry Potter studios for, is it 50 pound for one of these, for something like this? I think that's a bargain personally with this calendar this is one of the best ones i think the carrot shop have done for a very very long time and i really really like it and the fact that you can lock it as well i just think that's brilliant and the fact you've got harry potter written on the top there i absolutely love this this is my favorite carrot shop advent calendar in a long time thank you so much to calica for sending this amazing advent calendar i really cannot wait to start figuring out what i'm gonna do with this this has got to go in my room somewhere but yes very very grateful for you sending me this until next time take care i love you all and i will speak to you very very soon my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe